So let me go onto my um, Tivoli Provisioning Manager server and I'll show you where we can find these automation packages. So I have a, a, a TPM server up and running. I'm going to go straight into the file system in the TPM home directory. This is one way of finding out how many drivers or how many automation packages you have installed in your environment or available in the environment. Oops, got some fat fingers this morning. Okay, so this is one way of looking at uh, which um, automation packages are available to us on our TPM server. Now you'll see files which um, end in the .tc driver extension and this is a, a package file which we can extract and look at the files inside there. The alternative way of uh, looking at um, which automation packages you have installed in the environment is using a, uh, a, a TPM command. So here there is a, a command called tcdrivermanager.sh and I can do a list all stra. I could have typed in L instead of list all stra as a shorthand, but here we see a number of warnings which we can ignore and what we'll see here is any second now, a list of all the automation packages which have been installed by default in my environment. Now, um, as well as the automation package name, we will see the version number and we will also see whether or not that automation package has been installed. So here, now automation packages relate to a n number of different types of resources. It could be a network device, it could be an operating system, it could be a uh, another management product. So, for example, if you have VMware in your environment and you want to use TPM to, to drive the provisioning and management of your VMware virtual infrastructure, then we can use the automation package, which is installed here out of the box, called VMware Virtual Infrastructure. I'm scrolling th through this list. Hopefully, we can all see this. You'll see uh, automation packages for manipulating Cisco switches, for example, a 6500 switch, a Cisco load balancer, we have automation packages for managing blade centers. Oh, an automation package for installing the Apache web server on a Windows environment. So here we've got a number of automation packages. Remember, this is the reusable solution, which we can transport from one environment to another. It's a reusable solution, which we, we could customize if you want to. Or in fact, you could end up writing your own automation packages. Now the uh, TPM interface, once we log into the TPM interface, we can see uh, all the uh, automation packages inside here by going to menu option, and we'll see pretty much the similar sort of information that we've seen on the file system. Now, an automation package may be doing uh, um, an, or providing a number of logically related operations. So a single automation package may result in the creation of what we call device drivers. So here we may have multiple device drivers and think of a device driver as, as behavior um, of a particular device. So here we have um, uh, a number of device drivers for manipulating AX environments. If I search for VMware, we have a, a, a number of device drivers which came from the, the virtual infrastructure VMware automation package. And here we can drill down and look at the um, the contents of this device driver. So we have a, a relationship here. Automation packages consist of this reusable solution, and the automation package consists of uh, one or more workflows. So we can um, see the uh, result of installing an automation package in the interface, in the TPM interface. I've mentioned workflows a lot. A, a workflow is the... Uh, 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 lowest level of automation in effect um, when we're driving our automation from from the service management platform and we can have a, uh, a workflow do pretty much anything you want it to do. TPM comes with a, a native workflow programming language which um, is quite easy to learn and you can d develop your automation in this language. If you have existing scripts that you've invested time in and uh, your your operation staff uh, want to continue using those scripts, well, you could wrap those scripts within a workflow, um, or you could just call those scripts from the workflow. So um, one value proposition of TPM is that we're not going to rip and replace. We're looking at how we can leverage best practice, and I like to call TPM as a manager of managers. So TPM is interfacing with your um, your environment. And you can also think of this as your layer of abstraction where you could have a business process in place that says you will 
make all changes to any type of device um, through the TPM interface. Now if I go back to the home page and I'll go to provisioning workflows, let me search for a provisioning workflow. I'll choose a simple one which will allow us to run a command on a server default device execute command and here the, this workflow is defined out of the box I'm just going to press the play button which will run this workflow now when you're working with the TPM interface you're um, generally going to be running tasks where the the tasks will be very much wizard driven and many tasks will have a a, a simple number of arguments which may be a host name of a computer or the name of a software product you won't generally be running workflows directly but for the purpose of this demonstration I'm running the uh, the workflow directly because I want to show what's underneath the covers by uh, eventually showing you how to navigate the data center model so this particular workflow requires one um, uh, argument oops I'm not sure what happened there I think I press submit let's just press play again this workflow requires a number of arguments so let me first of all launch or expand this option here which will allow us to find the ID of an object so I have an object in my environment called a TPM and here the TPM object has a, an object ID called 4868 so I must pass this ID into the workflow as the device ID now I can choose the command I want to run so if I hide the encrypted input, I'll be able to see the command in this screen. So this device is a Unix box, so I'm going to run a uname-a command on the box to see what level of operating system is on that box. I'll choose a working directory, just slash temp. And here TPM needs to know how to access that particular device, what type of, of credentials will it use. So there's a default credential. And if this command times out within 100 seconds, that will be regarded as an error. So I'll put 100 and error. Now those uh, arguments look uh, okay to me. And I'll press run. The, uh, the, the task has started, so let's monitor the output of this task. Here we can see a TPM has, has created a, a new task to run this very simple provisioning workflow which is going to run a uh, command on a target machine and there I'll press uh, uh, refresh to see what the output of this command is just expand that and it's still scheduled at the moment and we can see that the actual workflow has succeeded and any second now we will see the uh, the task become succeeded as well and to look at the the output of the the workflow we can drill down and look at the provisioning workflow status and here we can see my input parameters and we have a complete log of everything that was uh, every step that was invoked in that particular operation the workflow has succeeded and the output of our uname command is a Linux, it's a Linux box, TPM is the host name and we have a uh, OS level there, uh, date timestamp and in fact this uh, machine happened to be my TPM server. That's one way of running a simple workflow.